Help staff tutorial best time tracking software. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with Hubstaff for all of your time tracking needs. So let's get into it. Now, Hubstaff is an online application that enables you to get easy and accurate time tracking. They have a lot of different features, including time tracking, geofencing, employee monitoring, GPS tracking, online invoicing, productivity measurement, payroll software, and online timesheets, and so much more. These are just some of the highlights of their software and what this enables you to do is that you can track the productivity you can track the time the hours that each individual employee puts in and you can better manage your business so if you have even a physical or just a remote business then you can easily manage all of your payroll and time tracking needs from here so to get started what you're going to do is you're going to click on start 14 day free trial over here and once you do that you're just going to enter your full name so we're just going to do that and then you're going to just enter your email address like so and then you're just going to enter your password that you want for your hub staff account and then you're just going to click on create my account and once you do that this will begin your actual account creation process so i'm just going to open up my gmail and then you just have to verify that you entered the correct gmail address or email address whatever it might be so we're just going to open this we're going to click on confirm account and then our hub staff account will begin the process so Next up, they're going to ask you a couple of questions, whether you are the owner or the team member. So we're going to click on business owner and we're going to set up our entire business. And then you're going to be asked what kind of work does your team do? So if you work in an office, if you work in the field or if you work in office and field. So we're going to click on in an office because we're just going to continue on with that example. And then you're just going to enter some basic information like your organization name. So we're going to go with Jane Doe Inc. And then we're going to add the team size. So let's say it's two to ten people and then you're going to add the industry that you're working in so let's say we are working in entertainment and then you're going to invite a manager so you can enter email addresses of your managers or of your teammates and then you can also let them know uh how you find out about hub staff so we're going to add youtube ads and then we're just going to click on continue and then you're going to be asked what kind of features you want with Hubstaff other than basic time tracking. So if you want to monitor the desktop activity, if you want to send and receive invoices, schedule shifts and time off, pay by team or submit expensive or approved timesheets. So let's say we want to monitor desktop activity, send and receive invoices and approve timesheets. So these are the three features that I'm going to add other than just basic time tracking. And then I'm just going to click on continue over here. And once you do that, you can add different project names. So this could be marketing. And then the second one could be maybe creating content. And then we're just going to click on save and just add these two projects. And then we're just going to click on choose desk free. And we're going to continue on the free version. I will later on go into more detail on the different versions of Hubstaff that are available. But for now, you can see over here, if you click on your dashboard, this is going to be your basic dashboard on Hubstaff. So this is going to basically allow you to see a full summary of the entire work plan that you have. Then below that, you have your timesheets on your left over here. So on your left, you have your entire navigation panel and your timesheets, you have view and edit and approvals. Then you have your activity, you have screenshots, apps and URLs. Then you also have your project management. So you can add different projects to your Hubstaff account to better manage them directly and add specific time tracking for specific projects. And in that way you will be able to give accurate payrolls and accurate you know time submissions to people that are paying you so if you have any clients that need to receive your timestamp or timesheets then you can easily add their projects in the project section so just like that you can click on add project you can add the members the budget the trackable time and then below that, you have a report section. You have your basic time activity, amount owed, payments, and all reports. So you can find all different kinds of analytics and reports. And you will be able to have manual time edits, timesheet approvals, all of your invoicing details over here as well. And then below that, you have your people section. So you can invite different members. To invite a member, you can simply click on invite member. And then you're just going to add new members. And then you can also click on onboarding status and see where the people are on their onboarding process if they 
have downloaded applications or track time. And then below that, you have your financial settings where you can manage different projects and see the current rate, the unpaid amount, the unpaid hours that you have for each team member and the amount of time that they have spent. You can also click on approved timesheets over here to see the team member, their current rate, their unpaid amount and unpaid hours as well. And you can also see one time amount. So you can select specific members that you pay a lump sum price for. You can add those over here. And then below that, you have your settings and policies. So these are just your basic settings for Hubstaff. Now, to get started with your actual time tracking, all you need to do is whatever kind of task you're doing, you can just click on project management, click on the task that you're doing, and then you can click on this, and then you can click on edit project. And then you can add more billable hours record activity you can add a specific client as well to your project and to get started with tracking time all you have to do is on your top left you see this icon over here you're just going to click it you can select the project that you want so let's say we are working on creating content and you can add a to-do list as well so the specific tasks that you are going to accomplish in a specific time you can add all of those over here so let's say we add you know contacting a certain manager or anything like that so you can add those as well but i'm just going to skip that and we're going to click on continue and you can see now our time is now being tracked so you can take a look at the time and the hours that you have put in in each day you will see that as well and we can just resize this and just put it back over there you can leave it at the bottom of your screen and then go back onto different pages to continue with your work and then once you have finished your work you can just open this up and then you can just click on the stop button and this will save the amount of time so if i go back into my time sheets now or if i go into my activity status then you can see over here you have your web timer time it was 8 seconds and 17 seconds so you can see the amount that i have worked you can also add the billable hour rate as well so you can click on edit over here as well and add specific notes to the time that you have spent and you can also delete certain timesheets that are not approved so if you find that someone created like a false timesheet or anything like that you can also choose to delete that as well now with your timesheets if you click on timesheets over here you can also just click on add time and add specific project and add specific times that you worked on them and you can add if these are billable or non-billable hours if they are non-billable you're going to unselect this and add time sheets like so this is a feature that you can also disable if you don't trust all of your team members with it because this enables people to add however much time that they spend on doing on a certain task you can easily add that but if you find that this is just too open for all of your team members then you can disable these features in the settings as well now this is just the basic overview of hubstaff and how to do basic time tracking if we take a look at hubstaff's pricing it starts at the free version where you have uh, time tracking time sheets limited screenshots and limited reports but if we go on to the premium version of hubstaff you can take a look at their desk starter which includes uh time tracking time sheets and reports unlimited screenshots and limited payments with one integration and 24 7 support so you can see it only starts at seven dollars per user per month and it has two users and then the desk pro version starts at ten dollars per user per month and you have the time tracking time sheets you have auto discard idle time you have unlimited teams payments unlimited integrations and you also have scheduling attendance time off and holidays payrolls client and project budgets and so much more on the desk pro version if you click on hubstaff time you can also take a look at the basic time tracking feature Features that are available but hubstaff desk is basically the same thing it's just like a upgraded version which has some other features that will be essential for anyone that is using the hubstaff time tracking so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to use hubstaff to track time for your business as well and for your team as well if you find anything to be too difficult then make sure to ask a question in the comments if you have any questions about hubstaff or how to use the platform or any other time tracking software leave them in the the comment box down below and i will make sure to answer those as soon as possible and if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and i will catch you guys in the next video